And hello from one of the great venues in world football, the San Siro in the city of Milan. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from Serie A. It's Milan, and they take on Salernitana. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And here's how Milan will line up. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. Ismael Benasser plays alongside Sandro Tonali in central midfield. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, as you can see, they're going to play with a front two. And if you do that, it's vital that they work as a pair. They need to play close to each other and combine as much as possible. And this confrontation is underway. Sandro Tonali. Benassa. Well, spot on with that challenge. And now passing it through. Hernandez. And the keeper knew it was crucial he didn't make a mistake. The injury will mean a stoppage. The referee going down that road, so treatment can be administered now. Following the stoppage, back underway with a drop ball. And continues his run. And options in the centre. It has to be. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here's the replay. What a superb volley this is. He strikes it so cleanly, and he times it perfectly. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Calabria. Grunic. Diaz, well, an attempt to forget all about, unfortunately. Yeah, got it all wrong, trying to pass it into the corner, opened up his body, but didn't make the right sort of contact. And the ball's gone. Franck Ribéry. Bradaric. Well, they might be onto something. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Oh, 
Alessandro Tonali. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. A very good tackle. Ribéry. Leal. Can't miss, surely. And he's missed it. Good heavens. Well, that's a big miss. That should have been the equaliser. A sloppy pass. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. And he has options available. We're racing away here. They won't complain about having won the corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. Well, the referee remaining very much in control. Now the card, and it's yellow. Tammy put it away. Splendid defending. Well, the keeper committed himself. <laughs> and over it comes. And cleared away, a corner kick it'll be. Last man back, and job done. Can they slot it home? And thumped away. They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Bradaric. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Salamakers. Diaz. This could be the equaliser. And not cleared away properly. Oh, great block. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Can he make it count? He had to react and did. So almost at the halfway mark with Milan chasing the game. Stuart, what have you made of their performance in the first half? Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attacking third. If, however, they can be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations, they have the quality to turn this around. Rafael Leao. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. A goal! Real excitement! A back and forth type of game. Now they're level. Well, here's the replay, and it has been coming. They've played some great football in this game, and they fully deserve this goal. So back underway. One goal apiece here. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. And take it away. Sandro Tonali. Well, that's going to be all for the first half here at the San Siro. Well, quite frankly, Olivier Giroud hasn't... So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Tomori. 
Teo Hernandez now. Roberto Neri being afforded too much space. Unable to keep the ball. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Well, I must say it did look so promising, but the flag is raised offside the verdict, Stuart. Well, he's just too eager there. It's the right run, but he's made it too early. Grunic must take the lead here. And they have, you've got to say, it has been coming. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So there we have it, 2-1. Well, showing good defensive judgment. Giroud. Federico Bonazzoli might be able to set up the chance. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. They need to get bodies back. Giro! They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Brahim, real chance. Promising attack, but his timing was off. Koulibaly. Disappointing pass. Well, as the stats confirm, Milan have controlled the ball and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Yes, it's going to plan, and they might be able to carve out another chance. Oh, so near, but just unable to keep the shot down. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. It's a promising Milan move. And a goal to seal the hat trick. A masterclass in finishing. Just can't stop him today. Well, that's really good awareness of the situation. He just places that beyond the keeper. That's a top class finish. Goals in plentiful supply. 4 1 currently. 20 minutes remaining now. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. Well, a powerful effort, but just wide. Realising that it might be opening up on the opposite flank. Grunic. Gives it a go. Brilliantly blocked. And time for the change now. Who can they pick out? And that is a defender doing his job, clearing it off the line. And the attempt just wide. So unfortunate.
Koulibaly. Good looking pass. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Just 10 minutes remaining here. Olivier Giroud. Given away by the Rossoneri. Diaz. Brahim Diaz now. Given away by Milan. And a goal kick given. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Sandro Tonali. On the ball, Sandemakers. Can he do it? A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. So there it is, the final whistle, and it's going to be recorded as a win for the Rossoneri. What did you think of their performance in this game? You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. And options in the centre.